everybody, I'm the Taku Artist, and welcome to another episode of Silent Hill 2. In the last episode, we explored more of the apartments, um, and uh, found found juice. That That's it. We totally didn't find a dead body or see something horrifying. We just found some juice. Totally, totally. <laughs> so, um... Right now, we are here, um, like, at the very entrance of the apartments. And what we want to do is we want to go outside. And we want to turn around this corner here. Remember how I said we shouldn't really explore this side? It's because there wasn't anything to do until now. So, this is where that garbage, garbage shoot ends and why we needed to use the juice. The garbage bag is torn and the contents are strewn all over. I got a coin. Old man. What's this? Some gossip magazine? The police announced today that Walter Sullivan, who was arrested on the 18th of this month for the brutal murder of Billy Locaine and his sister, Miriam, committed suicide in his jail cell early on the morning of the 22nd. According to the police statement, Sullivan used a soup spoon to stab himself in the neck severing his carotid artery. I know I butchered that. I know I butchered that, but oh well. By the time the guard discovered him, Sullivan was dead from blood loss. The spoon buried two inches into his neck. An old schoolmate of Walter Sullivan's from his hometown of Pleasant River said, He didn't look like the type of guy who would kill kids. But I do remember that just before they arrested him, he was blurting out all sorts of strange stuff like, He's trying to kill me. He's trying to punish me. The monster. The red devil. Forgive me. I did it, but it wasn't me. The schoolmate then added, I guess now that I think of it, he was kind of crazy. Is it possible to kill yourself with a soup spoon? Or a spoon at all in that matter? Is that possible? I guess if the spoon, if you made it sharp, if you broke it. Hmm. Anyway, um, now that we got that coin, we want to go here and use the courtyard key. You get a kind of a breath of fresh air, which is pretty nice. Alright, so. Here we have, like, a pool for the apartment. And I just... I want you to think about this for a second. Well... First of all, let me get down there. Hmm, maybe I should shoot them. I like to save my bullets, but like... Hmm. Yeah, I think, I think I should shoot them. Oh, we have plenty. We have plenty. We, we, we can, we can spare some bullets. Come on, guys. Keep in mind that you will have to take a second to reload. Okay. Well, now they're all running on the ground. By the way, you can fall down there by accident. Oh my god. Uh, let's just run for it. Okay, I got the coin snake. Woo! Anyway, did you notice what that is in the middle that we just grabbed from? That's a baby carriage. This is such a small detail, but it's always stuck with me. Why is there a baby carriage in the middle of the pool surrounded by three monsters? The implications of that are very concerning and unnerving. And I don't see, like, anyone bring up the baby carriage. And I don't know why, because, like, th that, that, that's very concerning. Very concerning. It's one of my favorite details, honestly. Alrighty, so we're on this side of the apartments now. We can finally explore more of the first floor. Hello, sir. No, excuse me, sir. Come on. No. Come on. 
quiero quiero could you pass away please thank you go on there we go man I I I want to take a second to just say how much I love the environments in this game. They do such a good job with the environments. Not just this game, just Silent Hill in general. Two and three are my favorites that come to mind in terms of level design and environments. Very nice. Very, they really capture like the emptiness and creepiness of an abandoned place. God, I hate this sound effect. <laughs> Ugh, it's so gross. What the? Who could have done this? That's not a good sign. Just someone dead in a refrigerator. My name's James. James Sunderland. Um, Eddie. Eddie. Who's that dead guy in the kitchen? I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill anybody. You're not friends with that red pyramid thing. Are you? Red pyramid thing? I don't know what you're talking about. Honest. I did see some weird looking monsters. They scared the hell out of me, so I ran in here. <laughs> well, I guess this place isn't too safe either. What happened here anyway? Uh, I, I told you, I don't know. I'm not even from this town. I just, I just... <sighs> you too, huh? Something just brought you here, right? Uh, uh, yeah, you could say that. Well, whatever it is, I think you better get out of here soon. Uh, yeah, you're right. What about you? I'll leave as soon as I'm done here. Eddie, be careful. James, I... I, um... You be careful, too. <laughs> I'm so sorry you guys had to hear that. That scene is such an uncomfortable scene, and every time I see it, I'm like, please, I want, to be o I want it to be over. Please, make it end, because that throw-up sound effect is so gross. It's so gross. But, hey... It's nice to see that uh, there's another person here. I mean, we did see the little girl, but who knows where she is. But looks like that um, so far we've met three people in the town. We've met Eddie, we've met the girl at the graveyard, and we've met, kind of, the little girl. Alright, I think I'm going to use a first aid kit. We were kind of running low. Now, I think I should mention something. Um, I'm not playing on the default brightness. I'm I'm playing on brightness level 5. And that's just because this game is really dark. And for your guys' sake, I feel like it's better to have the brightness level up a little bit so you guys can actually see what's going on. 
especially if you're watching this on a small device like a phone, it can be pretty difficult to see, if, especially if you're seeing this in the daytime and not watching at night. I do recommend watching these episodes that's supposed to play at night, by the way. I feel like that would be a bit scarier. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd mention that because I thought that maybe someone might mention it in the comments, but that's why I have the brightness level up um, a little bit because the I believe the default one is three, so I just have it like up two notches. I did that because during my practice run of this game before I recorded any episodes, I was having a difficult time seeing A sightseeing brochure for the town is lying here. Huh, I don't think I ever saw this before. Welcome to Silent Hill! Silent Hill, a quiet little lakeside resort town. We're happy to have you. Take some time out of your busy schedules and enjoy a nice, restful vacation here. Row after row of quaint old houses, a gorgeous mountain landscape, and a lake which shows different sides of its beauty with the passing of the day from sunrise to late afternoons to sunset. Silent Hill will move you and fill you with a feeling of deep peace. I hope your time here will be pleasant and your memories will last forever. Editor, Roger Widmark. Yeah, I don't think I ever noticed that before. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, there might be little things here and there I miss. I am definitely going to try to make sure that I show you guys everything that I know about this game, though. Now it's unlocked. Aha! Now we now we can use this door. Woohoo! Alright, and that's pretty much everything we can do here. So, um, what we're gonna do now is if you remember we have the fire escape key so where we want to use that is we want to use that on the second floor so i will meet you guys on second the second floor obviously <laughs> all righty so um if you're wondering uh the door is right here and so let's use that key of ours There is no fire escape outside the door. Maybe they knocked it down when they built the building next door? I think I can get into the building next door if I go through the window in front of me. Alrighty, so. I don't have a map of this area, so it looks like we are in a completely different section of the apartments. There's an old broken down bed here. It's like a different building entirely. It looks like there's something stuck inside the toilet. Will you take it out? Just gonna stick your hand in there. Looks like a wallet. There's some kind of memo in it. Okay, again, here we go. Also, don't worry, you don't have to write this down. It will be saved in your memo section of the menu. But like, my guy, you're gonna reach into a toilet? Ew! Again, James is doing something that I would never do. Get it. This is way too gross. Who would even think of doing something so disgusting? So here, here, here's the memos I was talking about. So don't worry, you can just check here if you forget what the code is. James, seriously, my guy, what is what what is wrong with you? What what is wrong with you? Never, ever would I see a gross-looking toilet and be like, Ooh, gonna just yoink. Put my hand in there. 
so it's this isn't required by the way but like why wouldn't you do that so um there is a safe here so obviously we're gonna put in that code again and i totally didn't forget what the code was i totally don't have to open up my map again what are you talking about four honestly guys i'm not good with remembering things especially numbers so if you're like me i recommend just taking your phone out and taking a picture of it so on the the memo it actually has arrows pointing on what direction you want to put the safe so we're gonna go with oh this is so it kind of skips ahead So there we go, four, and then we need to go to one. Oops, I skipped over that. The controls are very touchy, I noticed for this. Okay, so, so we're gonna go to the right, four, and we're gonna go to one, and then we're gonna go to left two, and then we're going to the right 19. There we go. Now, I believe this code is different on each playthrough, but don't quote me on that. I could be wrong. I, I could be wrong. Um, I honestly don't remember. I didn't write down the code on my first, uh, or on my last playthrough. So uh, let me know in the comments if you're playing along. If your code's different, let me know. And let me know what version you're playing because maybe it's different in the other versions of the game. Oh, hello. Man, this guy won't die. Can't go in there. Lock is broken. It's broken. Mm. Ooh, the map. We want that. We want that. Alrighty. So this is Blue Creek Apartment. So looks like it's not another section of the apartments. It's a completely different part. Completely. So we definitely want that. Definitely. Can't go in there. And we have another laundry room called it washer room before, which is kind of silly. There's a note stuck on the door. Dear Tim, I have to run an errand, so I'm going out. I left the house key with Uncle David. You know where he lives, don't you? The key is in the room near the first floor staircase. I'll be back as soon as I can, so please watch the place while I'm gone. I was speed rating that because I knew that that guy was coming. Oh, he's all the way over there. I thought he was right behind me. Sir. Please pass away. I, I I didn't retain anything that note said. <laughs> I was too busy trying to like make sure that he wasn't gonna come up behind me and kill me. Sir, please pass away. Please pass away. Thank you. Okay, so what did that say? Uh, da, 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 da. I left the house key with Uncle David. The key's in the room near the first floor staircase. So we are on the second floor. So we're gonna have to obviously go on the first floor for that. So it's probably, it's probably either 101 or 109 he's referring to. We'll have to find out when we go down there. Hello, friend. See, the other enemies are more of a threat, because they can spit out stuff. This guy can't. But they can sneak up on you if you're not paying attention. Pass away. Come on, my guy. locked. Alright. What the hell? 
What? That's that actually got me. Which one rattled? Okay. That's not concerning at all. Totally fine. Not not concerning at all. I think we've explored everything we can here right now. Yeah. Except for 201. I'm gonna double check, but I don't think we can do anything in 201 right now, or at all. Oh yeah, 201 is boarded up. Also, I might as well point this out. Um, the combat in this game. I really like it. It's very, like, it's kind of janky, but like, in a way that works really well, because it's janky enough where you kind of feel powerless against the enemies, like, it makes them more of a threat than if, like, combat was super good. And I like that. I, I like how the combat is in, um, the first three Silent Hill games, especially. Alright, so we got a first aid kit. We've got those little bugs going around. another one of those wait what's I can't tell what's on the refrigerator okay so right here is what we need to put the coins in so it's another one of those those puzzles there's something written on the desk three bright coins in five holes B at one ends and sits the seducer of she the wind from doth the woman doth play the formless one, no, lies furthest from they. The old one besides the serpent sits not. Tis to the prisoner's left that he doth rot. Now, we only have... I'm just gonna double check here. We only have two at the moment. Yeah. So, we are missing one more. So, we are gonna come back here. So, make note that we want to come back to room 105. Anything else here? Ooh, there's a safe place. Very nice. I think this this game does a good job at giving you enough, like, save spots. I've only died maybe a couple times in Silent Hill 2, like, throughout my three playthroughs of this game. So, like, on normal difficulty, realistically, you probably won't die. Or if you do, maybe, like, once or twice. But it, it's nice that they give you a lot of safe st Bro, pass away. <laughs> Thank you. Finally, I get to show you what the bugs look like. They just kind of look like cockroaches. So. Alright, so. We've got a li little bit of handgun bullets there. Now, I, I, I really like how in this room specifically, there's a teddy bear on the ground. It... It makes this room have a bit more meaning. Because you know that there was a kid here before. Which is kind of sad. Oh, it's you. Yeah, I'm James. Angela. Angela, okay. I don't know what you're planning, but there's always another way. Really? But you're the same as me. It's easier just to run. Besides, is what we deserve. No, I'm not like you. Are you afraid? I... I... I'm sorry. It's okay. Did you find your mother? Not yet. She's not anywhere. Did she live in this apartment building? I don't know. So... All you know is she lived in this town. What did you say? How do you know that? Well, 
I just figured, because this is where you're looking for her. How else would I know? Yeah. Am I right? I'm so tired. So, why did you come to this town anyway? I... I'm sorry. Did... did you find the person you're looking for? Not yet. Her name's Mary. She's my wife. I, I'm sorry. It's okay. Anyway, she's dead. I don't know why I think she's here. She's dead? Don't worry. I'm not crazy. At least, I don't think so. Uh, I've got to find my mama. Should I go with you? This town's dangerous. Now I know what you meant back there in the cemetery. I'll be okay by myself. Besides, I'd just slow you down. What about that? Will you hold it for me? Sure. No problem. If I kept it, I'm not sure what I might do. So if we look at that knife, it says, Knife from Angela. I don't plan on using this as a weapon. The, blood is the blade is stained with something red. I love that scene that we just saw. It is so good. I love how the game doesn't straight up tell you, like, word for word, like, what's going on with her and the knife. You just gotta figure it out. And I love the character interactions and the stilted dialogue. It makes it so off and weird and, like, unsettling. People compare Silent Hill to Twin Beaks a lot of the time because of, like, stilted voice acting stuff. And I definitely can see why. Because, like, it, it's just so good. I, I really like the exchange of how he's, he shows her the picture of his wife and is like anyway she's dead and he's she's like she's dead and then you can tell that kind of freaks her out and she's trying to leave because like she thinks that james is crazy it's it's a very good character interaction and also gives more depth to angela because it kind of seems like something's going on with her she's going through something a map of the United States. There's nothing of, of particular interest about it. I don't even know why we could examine that, if I'm being honest. I believe that's it in this room. I, I think that's it. Just the encounter with Angela. But we do now we do have the three coins now. So woohoo! Oh hello. Hello, my friend. So now we want to go back to room 105 to um do that puzzle it's gonna be sad if i forgot what the room number is it's 105 right yeah yeah 105 okay sweet okay so you want to go in the pause menu and we are gonna take out the old man first that's a funny sentence so we want to leave this first one empty and then we're gonna put the second one there Next, we're going to get the um, prisoner one, and that's going to go right in the middle. And then last, but not least, the snake. 
There we go. We got the Lynn house key. Now, I feel like this is obvious, but I'm just going to say this. If you're playing on a different difficulty, that puzzle's going to be different. The solution will be different. We just came from here, right? This was, yeah, that's where we met Angela. Hello. Goodbye. Pass away. Pass away, please. There we go. Alright. Looks like the lock is broken. I don't think there's anything here. Yep, there's nothing. So, now that we have the Lynn house key, that's what that little note was talking about. So, we want to head back to the second floor to use the, the key now. So, yeah, here's the note that we saw earlier. And now we're going to use that key. Oops. Right here. <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking that. I'm... My brain's like five steps ahead of myself. Ah, <sighs> man. So off camera, I've entered and, and left this room several times and have just stayed here. And it's not happening, unfortunately. So I'll just tell you guys this. This room has a chance to, amongst the silence, play whispering noises, like really in your ear, ear. um... I'll play it now if I can find that. And it's really creepy. That scared the shit out of me on my first playthrough. And there are things in this game that can happen sometimes on some playthrough, sometimes it doesn't. Like last time in my practice let's play, or my practice playthrough, I heard the whispering. This time I didn't. So... That's something I really like for replayability with this game. But unfortunately, it's not happening for me this time. But this room scared the shit out of me. Because I, like, took off my headphones because I wasn't sure if I was hearing that in the game or in real life. It was pretty good. Pretty good scare. We got handgun bullets. And then we want to make sure we grab the key. The apartment stairway key. Another save point. Pretty nice. Looks like the lock is broken. Looks like there's nothing left here. So, what we want to do is we want to go back through this room. See, I, my, my brain was like three steps ahead of myself because which way am I going? Should be right here. We want to use that new key Right here. Now I hope you saved. I hope you saved. Because this guy has a move that's a one hit kill. So, his normal slash won't one hit you, but he has a move where, I'll point it out if I see it, where he'll, like, swing it over his head, like, a little bit slowly. He, like, charges it up for a second. And he will- right there, that's the move. That is a one hit kill on any difficulty, so be careful. Now, do not try and attack him. Do not waste your bullets. Do not waste- your health just do this strategy run back and forth from each corner of the room and be careful he's invincible you cannot kill him so it's kind of just a waiting game this is a a boss fight that kind of gets you on your first playthrough and after that you kind of are like okay i i know what to do because I remember on my first playthrough, I was just spamming bullets out after him, I, and I was like, why isn't it working? And I was freaking out. I was so anxious and nervous. I tried going up to him and using my freaking stick to whack him. But no. 
don't don't worry you can't hurt him so we're just gonna have to wait this out and see what happens this is our first boss fight by the way the boss fights in Silent Hill are kind of jank um, they're not they're never the best from a narrative point, they're always pretty not pretty good, but yeah. Selen Hill doesn't have the best bosses, unfortunately, but it's fine. At least that's in my opinion. But this one is pretty good for a first playthrough because it really makes you freak out. Nope, 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 nope. And don't worry, that enemy on the ground is dead. They won't come back to life or something like that. I don't recommend going in the middle and using that as a safe place because you're not gonna be safe, trust me. Nope, 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 nope. I gotta be wary of that one hit KO move. Man, he really is he liking to use that one hit KO move. Here we go. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? <gasps> no! Oh my god, he can attack you from the staircase? I didn't know that. So yeah, once you hear that siren, he will leave. I didn't know that he can attack you from the staircase, though. And as you can see, he's down there under the gross water. Whew. And that is... That is... The, that was our first boss fight done. Why is the music still going on? I, I thought it would stop by now. Whew, okay, it stopped. Well, I guess you learn something new every day. I didn't know that he could attack you. <laughs> Whew. So now we are out of the apartments. We have completed the apartments and now we are back in the town. So I think that's a pretty good stopping point here. We got our first area done. We had our first boss fight. We met a new character. And now we are back in the town and can explore and see what else awaits us here. So, next time we're gonna do that, we're gonna explore. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was fun. I had a lot of fun t recording this episode. And I, uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this Let's Play so far. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And also, I, I'm curious, how many people are watching who have played Silent Hill before and are already fans or are newcomers and have never played Silent Hill before? Uh, let me know what your thoughts are. Especially if you are a new fan. If you are a new fan, I would love to, see, to hear what your first impressions of this game are. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm the Attack Artist, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!